Welcome back to Askewed Reviews, and today we are doing another St. Patrick's Day suggestion. We are doing the 2012 horror sci-fi comedy, Grabbers. Here is your trivia question for today. What is Lisa's blood alcohol content after they get her drunk to see what level they need to be at? The answer will be at the end of this video. The movie takes place on an Irish island called Aran Island. We meet one of our main characters, Kieran O'Shea, played by Richard Coyle. He is a Garda, which is an Irish police officer, uh, and also a bit of a drunk, who is not really keeping his life together all that well. Then we meet Garda Lisa Nolan, played by Ruth Bradley, who happens to be a very by-the-books type of police officer, and is new to the island. These two polar opposite officers now have to work together, but the island itself is normally pretty quiet and not much to do here, until one day when a bunch of marine animals wash up on shore, looking quite eviscerated. Then around the same time, a fisherman and the town drunk, Patty, discovers a creature and brings it home. The creature, of course, attacks him, but Patty manages to kill it and then bring it to the marine biologist, Dr. Adam Smith. There is definitely a sequence during this scene which is an homage to the Tremors movies, as Patty, since he's the one who discovered it, decides to name the creatures Grabbers. Also, just like in the movie Tremors, the small creatures they discover at first are nothing compared to the much larger version that the group has to now deal with. Now, the group is lucky enough to discover that the creatures can be killed by alcohol, but only when it's absorbed through the blood. So, of course, the group decides that the best course of action is to lock everyone in the town inside the pub and get shit-faced. There are quite a few similarities with this movie and the movie Aliens. Not only quotes, but also the end fight at the construction site, and of course the fact that the grabbers look a lot like face huggers. There's also a direct quote from Predator in this movie, as Kieran states, What are you waiting for? Come on, come and get me. There is also a very obvious nod to the movie Jaws, as the billboard for Aaron Island and the billboard for Amity Island look quite similar. Now if you're curious where this movie came from, writer Kevin Lehane was backpacking around the world when he heard the rumor that apparently Marmite put on your skin will cause mosquitoes to go away from you. This caused him to think, what would happen if a mosquito was to drink from a really drunk person? And of course, it just spiraled from there. Apparently, the biggest issue they had while filming this movie was dealing with the weather. It was actually the coldest it had been in over a hundred years in that part of Ireland, and the sub-zero temperatures caused a lot of issues with filming. Director John Wright had an interesting way of getting the best acting out of the two main characters. Before the film started production, he actually took Richard and Ruth out to the bar and got them as wasted as possible, and then recorded the evidence to show them later. Ruth apparently realized things that she did she had never noticed before and incorporated that into her character. I have one last piece of interesting information for you that you may not have already known. In the movie, at one point, Kieran is asked to recite the alphabet backwards, and he starts by saying Zed. If you didn't know, Zed is actually Z in the United Kingdom. They don't say it or pronounce it like Z. Now, as for my opinion on the movie Grabbers, I feel that the story and the concept was pretty original. I did like the acting in the movie, and of course, the CGI looked pretty good for it. So I'm going to give this movie a 4 out of 5. Now, as for the trivia question from the beginning of the episode, what is Lisa's blood alcohol content after they get her drunk to see what level they need to be at? Lisa actually blows a point two, which can be very dangerous, as this is the level where most people do either blackout or end up vomiting and can sometimes choke on that vomit. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Askewed Reviews. Please check out our other videos, and if there are any movies you'd like to see get a review, just mention it down in the comments. And as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe.